Hey everyone. Hi guys. Do you enjoy film noir? Do you? Do you enjoy comedy? Answer us. Do you enjoy detective stories? Well, you should check out Atlas Avenue Beat, where I, Jack Austin, play none other than Mr. James Locke, who's a PI over on Kenneth Heights, which is a real city you can find it on a map. Yep. Um, season one and two are out right now. You can go binge it. Yes, anywhere where podcasts are found. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Where else, Robert? Well, definitely check out either CastBox, iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spreaker, YouTube, Podcast Addict, Spotify. We're on everything. Yeah, we are. So just search for it. Atlas Avenue Beat Season 3 is coming out soon, so you definitely want to catch up. Yes, you do. You want to be caught up by the time Season 3 drops, because when you and everyone you know is sitting around talking about it, and you don't know, you're going to feel dumb. So you're going to say, you know what, Jack, Rob, thank you so much for this gentle reminder that I should go listen to Atlas Avenue Beat. And if you want to check out any of our other podcasts, you can go to 7lamb.com. The number 7, lamb.com. That's right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Will There Be Cake? My name is Robert Lamb. With me, as always, Amber Simpson. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There she is. Here I am. Fan of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a fan of the Maps. yeah, yeah. Uh, But that is not what we're celebrating today. I could today. 100% that on Rock Band Guitar Hero. Rock Band Guitar Hero? Those Whichever are two one I was on. <laughs> That's why I said both of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, but we're not celebrating maps or the yeah, yeah, yeahs. We're celebrating something completely different. Something completely different. What this is, is one of those ones where I thought it was something else, but it was something else. You thought it was a Marvel uh, character. Yeah, <laughs> a did. character from the MCU <laughs> and Marvel Comics. <laughs> well, I thought maybe, okay, so it's Pepper Pot Day. And I thought maybe that there was like a, a Pepper Pot in real life <laughs> other than the Marvel character. But it makes it weird. Why Why is her name Pepper Pot? I think her name is actually Pepper Potts. Pepper Potts. Like P-O-T-T-S. It's still weird. Right. It's still the, kind of close, obviously. I mean, obviously. Yeah. But no, we're celebrating Pepper Pot Day. Do you think the person who wrote her character named her after this yeah. uh, spicy soup? Yeah. I don't think it was a... Um, They're like, what should we name... A coincidence. This character. There's no I way know. that they... I really pot. like some spicy ass soup. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Well, I don't know like my comic stuff very well, but the where Pepper Pot came from is um during the Revolutionary War. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's old. Shit. Does that have anything to do with the comic? Uh I don't think so. I don't know though. <laughs> Iron Man, I don't know. The di- or... Was Iron Man in no. the Revolutionary War no, at no, any no. point? No. I mean maybe in a uh, different dimension or, or okay. timeline or something but not initially no okay yeah so the true origins of the pepper pot soup um began december 29th which is today of 1777 i like that date because there's a lot of sevens that's the day after uh, america <laughs> day after america? not a day after a year, a year after, after. <laughs> america <laughs> America. Yeah. So during the Revolutionary War, um, the Continental Army began experiencing a really bad winter during the Battle of Valley Forge. And the soldiers were low on food because the farmers in the area had gone and sold all their supplies to the British Army for cash rather than the wheat currency that the Continental soldiers could offer them for their crops. So Christopher Ludwig, a baker general of the continental army gathered up whatever food he could scrounge together to feed um the soldiers Mm. um and he was able to find scraps of tripe meat tripe comma meat wasn't tripe meat anyway anyway tripe meat and some peppercorn and then he mixed the ingredients together with some other seasonings and created a hot thick and spicy soup that we now know as pepper pot soup and it quickly became known as the soup that won the war. Really quick. It's a soup that won the war, Robert. They just threw it in their eyes when it was really high, and they're like, ah, you win. So it's like and pepper then spray. they ran away. Yep. Yep. 
Makes sense. Yep. Uh, by the way, Pepper Potts, it, Pepper is uh, a nickname. Her name was really Virginia Potts. Okay. But they called her Pepper Potts because she did pepper spray to a CEO in a CEO's office or something. Let me see. Oh. A bodyguard ended up spraying pots in the face with pepper spray when she tried to enter the CEO's office. So she got sprayed with pepper spray. Oh, well, that's a dumb reason. It should be because cause, um, Iron Man likes uh, pepper pot soup. Yeah, and because he fought in the Revolutionary yep. War. <laughs> yep, that would be a better backstory. Yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, the soup um, gave the soldiers some warmth and, and strength that they needed to push the enemies back through the harsh winter weather. Hey, I gotta have some aye, 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 aye. hot pepper. Hi, 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 So, I mean, you just celebrate with, you make some pepper pot soup. Yep. Um, huddle around the fireplace and have your family <laughs> tell some stories. It is cold right now, so it is cold. Wherever you are, you are. Yeah, wherever you are, <laughs> like the fireplace. I was taking a sip of my drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, light the fireplace, light up your stomach, light up your stomach. <laughs> Do it all. It probably will make you shit if it's spicy. If it's really well, okay, spicy, I got the sure. ingredients so you can make it. All right, write all right. it down. All right, I'm ready. You got a pen? Yep. All right, four cups of water. Scribble, scribble. Four tablespoons of chicken bouillon powder. Scribble. Two medium grated potatoes. Right, right, right. Two medium sized carrots, um, which are also grated. Tap, tap. Two finely chopped celery stalks. Lick the tip. One finely chopped onion. Write some more. Just eat the onion. One and a half cups of finely chopped green, red, or yellow peppers. Cursive now. Ooh, and one half cup of all purpose flour. Exclamation I'm going to keep going. Two tablespoons, teaspoons of salt. Jesus. One teaspoon of pepper. One Man. more cup of water. Man, more scribbling. <laughs> and finally, six cups of milk. Holy shit. Jesus. That's a lot. That's a lot. Just a lot of ingredients. That's a lot of ingredients. Huh? Well, but hey. that, now you got it. Now you got it. Well, we'll have to test it uh, or taste it because I've never had it. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll, ha- we'll have to try it out. It looks yummy, kind of. I, I mean, it kind of looks like chunky diarrhea, but like it could also look. It's like probably like good. a chili, right? Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Listen, well, we're gonna make that today. That's how we're gonna celebrate. And while we do that, we're also going to uh, watch Iron Man. Yeah. On TV. Yeah. <laughs> while we're making it, did you know that tripe, which is an ingredient, usually comes from three of the four chambers of a cow's stomach? Ugh. Doesn't that make you want to eat it? Yeah. Yum 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 yum. Gross. Yum, 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 yum. Gross, gross. Gross, gross, gross. I'm all for using every part of the animal so that it doesn't go to waste if you're going to kill an That's animal to eat it. Sometimes. But, like, sometimes it's like it's like Rocky Mount, Mountain oysters. Like, what? I mean, do we have to eat the bull testicles? <laughs> yeah, for real. It's just so gross. It is gross. <laughs> but there's Ugh. different versions of the stew um, all over the different countries. And, oh, I'm um, sure. Yeah. So wherever you are back. right now, look up. The uh, recipe, make yeah, a bowl. I, let's have the C- Caribbean version because it doesn't have tripe. It has and and it has hot pepper as the main ingredient. Okay, sounds better. I'm down for that. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, after we're done with that, are we going to celebrate with a cake? Yeah, I think we need some sweet after that warm and hot. Yeah, because it's spiciness. Gonna be warm, spicy. We gotta cool it down cool with it some down. soft, uh, just yummy. Vanilla cake. Moist cake. cake. Oh, vanilla cake. Vanilla cake. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going vanilla today. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. All right. Well, that's an easy day to celebrate. Uh, go get the ingredients. Yeah, Make do Make yourself it. a bowl, then have some cake. Yeah. Yeah. And then watch Iron Man. Yeah. Uh, all right. That does it for us. I'm Robert. That's Amber. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Triple pulls. Seven Lamb Production.